Hey folks, so today we're going to talk about Gen AI using Gemini 1.5 Pro. It's a mid-sized multimodal model that's optimized for scaling across a bunch of different kinds of tasks, including those using words, images, videos, audio, or code. Now 1.5 Pro also has a long context window. It's far beyond what was originally available. It was like 32,000 tokens for Gemini 1.0, um, which means that, again, you can now run a million tokens in production, and that allows you to do a ton of different things. You could like process an hour of video, 11 hours of audio, or 30,000 lines of code. So there's a lot of different possibilities this opens up. So today I want to show you a few of the different things that you can do um, with Gemini. Uh, first up is working with images and video. I love reading. I'm a really big reader. I love reading books on leadership and management and productivity. And you tend to see folks posting um, photos of book recommendations a lot, like, hey, here's my collection of, of awesome books. And I want to see if we can extract a list of books from an image. This is not a, an overly complicated task to kick us off, but let's try that one out. So here's an image that I, I found on the web um, with a person's book recommendations. We're just going to ask Gemini to list out the books so that I don't have to manually do it. Let's try this out. Boom. Okay, it works. Um, what about video? Now, can we list books from, you know, your, uh, a quick video of your phone moving past a bookshelf, right? Because instead of having to take down every single book, sometimes you have a bookshelf, you want to share your recommendations with other people. Now, um, Simon Wilson had this uh, good demo that we're going to redo with a more powerful version of Gemini since it's been a minute since his uh, demo um, was done. So we're going to take Simon's uh, video and try to get a JSON array of books from it. So let's try this out. We've uploaded our video, it's processing, and amazing. So we have our list um, of books here. And this looks about right, great. Next, I wanna show you um, the power of long context text support. So we're gonna stick with this theme of, of books. And I wanna upload a book, you know, it could be a text file, it could be a PDF. I'm choosing a public domain book, something from Project Gutenberg. And it's the psychology of management, it's a slightly older book, but it's something you can easily uh, repro and, and play around with. So I've uploaded this book, and now I'm going to perform an action, um, like interacting with the book. I, I want to get the key highlights of it. So it's going to take some time. It's, it's literally going through like 130 plus pages of this book, and it's done now. It appears to have worked well, um, and based on what I know of this book, the summary looks um, about accurate. Now we could follow up with more questions and interact with the book. I could ask questions about individual chapters or topics or other things inside there that require more nuance. Um, and Gemini would, would be able to provide me some answers on those. Now, um, going back to dealing with, with video, I want to show you what is possible once you start combining some of these um, modalities together. Um, and I want to talk about code support. So we're going to do a few things. We're going to generate, um, again, some JSON off of the video, and we're going to try recreating a web page, and we're going to try playing around with uploading a whole GitHub repo and interacting with the code and content in it a little bit using Gemini. So again, sticking with the theme of books, a while back I built this little app for showcasing my favorite books, um, and I shared a screencast of it. Now, uh, this is a, you know, a little app, it's built using Astro, it's using view transitions, you know, you've got this main view and then these, these subsequent views for more details. I want to see if we can rebuild a simpler version of this using just Gemini. So I'm going to upload a video of this screencast, this little demo video to Gemini. I'm going to ask it first of all to generate a JSON array of books from the video. So let's try that out. Okay, so it's processing, it's processing. Great. So it's generated our JSON. What's even more useful is that it's populated the author names for the books. That, that's content that wasn't in the original video, right? That's kind of magical. Now, I, I loved seeing this. Um, it's able to do this because a lot of these books are like well-known. Maybe it's training data includes them. Now, anytime AI has got this magical moment, I always encourage folks to like verify that the output is correct. And at first glance, this looks right. Next, I want to recreate the HTML and the CSS layout of the original web page or something close to it. And I'm going to ask Gemini to do this. So I want it to generate the HTML and the JavaScript to fetch our JSON. 
and the styles needed to render this. You know, maybe it's using CSS Grid or Flexbox for, for the layout. So let's see what it does. Cool. So it's generated my, uh, my markup, it's generated my styles and my, my JavaScript. I'm just going to save this locally and I'm going to spin up um, a little server and we can take a look at what that looks like. And of course, we're missing the images um, for these books. Where is it going to get these covers from? Now, as much as I would love for models to be able to like go and figure out like, hey, here, here are the right URLs for every single one of these, I don't think they're going to be able to handle that use case just yet. So what I'm going to do is um, my original app, it's built using Astro and it's got this like static index that's about 30,000 lines in size. I'm going to ask Gemini to try matching the book cover images in my original to the book titles in my JSON and see if it's able to handle that. So it's a lot of mostly pattern matching. So let's see what that does. Great, it's managed to accomplish this task. We can see that the cover image URL entries are all inside the JSON. These are all pointing to valid URLs. You know, I can go and I can click through and check these out. But I'm gonna go and quickly update my HTML using this content, refresh. There we go. It's looking way closer to the original, right? Now, I also want a details view, something a little bit similar to what we used to have. Maybe we'll do this using a modal dialog. So I'm going to ask Gemini um, to do this for me. So any, I, any book that I click on, I want it to display a modal with the image cover and the title. So let's see. All right. So let's go and update our code um, and try this out. So uh, I'm just going to click on, on some books. Awesome. So it's displaying a modal. It's got the image cover. It's got the title. Now, if I filled in the book descriptions in my JSON, I might be able to display those as well, but it's looking decent so far, right? Now, for our next step, I want to get all of the original data from my GitHub repo into a form that we can use for like faithfully reproducing more of this app. So as I said, my original app, it's built using Astro, and we have a large number of individual files for each book entry. So um, I've got this set up so that, you know, in the original, Every single um, book has got its own dedicated page I can, I can navigate to. It's got like a static file or something that I can pull in using view transitions. Um, and what I want is to go through all of these entries. It's maybe 30, 50 books. And I want it to scrape all of the relevant content from there. I want it to go through the repo. I want it to scrape the title, the author, the Amazon book URL, the cover, and the description. So let's do that. I've selected a folder with my repo, and I'm going to ask Gemini to generate the JSON I need with all of these details. Now, it's going to go off and do that. While it's, it's processing, I want to note that what's cool here is that I don't have to write a script to rework the files into a format that I want or anything. Now, in the earlier days of Gen AI, I'd, I'd maybe ask it to, you know, go and write me a Bash script or a Node script to, to tackle this. But Gemini is going to do all of the heavy lifting for me, hopefully. So we're going to fast forward now and see what the result is. And awesome, there we go. Um, so we have our data. Now we're going to go back to our web page. I've saved my updated JSON file. In my HTML, I've tweaked the JavaScript for rendering um, these, uh, this content as the keys are just slightly different now. And what I really want is to make sure that I have a description that's rendering now and a buy button. It's not something that it could have magically figured out too easily from the original video. Okay, so let's refresh and try this out. Wow, so our descriptions are all there. Amazing. Let's try the buy button. And that works too. And that's just what we wanted. I really love playing around um, with, with these models. Um, now, there's a lot that Gemini can help us out with, and I want to show you one last thing very quickly. If we go back to our JSON, what if I wanted to ask for another 20 book recommendations, right? So a lot of my books, again, they're about leadership and management and productivity, but I'm always on the search for more books to read. And so I'm going to ask Gemini to help with that. Let's see what it gives me. Amazing. So it's updated the JSON with more titles and author names. This is great. So I've obviously got some more books I'm going to go off and read. Um, that kind of concludes this walkthrough of Gemini 1.5 Pro. We've tried using it with a number of different things, images, videos, code, and uh, text as well, like lots and lots of words. Um, I hope that you can have a chance to try it out 
If you get access to Gemini 1.5 Pro or other models via Google AI Studio, do give it a spin. I would love to hear what you end up building, what your experience is like. Thanks. I hope you found this helpful.